this week at the University of Rhode Island, what steps students should take to choose the best major for them, and how the URI men's basketball team is helping those affected by the recent hurricanes, and the best tips for students while studying. All that and more on this week's Five Cent Cigar Newscast. Hello everyone, I'm Nikki Latarulo. Choosing a major can be one of the hardest decisions students face during their college career. Madeline Schulte spoke with students and advisors last week about choosing a major here at URI. With the number of majors that URI offers, it can be hard to declare just one. Allison Rosadino was once an undeclared freshman who was hoping to find a major that would best fit who she is. I thought maybe, maybe the field of education or public relations but honestly, I just went with my gut and chose education. Academic advisor Jake Clemen really helped students choose their major. The courses they were most interested in during high school, why they were interested in those courses and try to unpack what their skill sets may be in terms of reading, writing, translating, interpreting information, math, quantitative reasoning, so on and so forth. Next thing I try to do is get a gauge on their personality. Allie really used her advisors wisely and would visit them very often. I would visit my advisors monthly, just ask them questions, get advice on where I should be and where they think I should be. And by doing that, they actually led me in the direction of changing my major from education to public relations. Other tools such as the Best Fit Major Roadmap on the URI website and the U.S. Labor of Statistics website can aid freshmen in their decision. The Bureau of Labor Statistics offers data information and is the official repository for all labor forecasting in the United States. You can find Jake in Roosevelt Hall where he offers walk-in advising in room 113. I'm Madeline Schulte with 5 Cent Cigar News. If students ever need help with choosing classes or a major, they could visit Roosevelt Hall for walk-in advising Monday through Friday from 2 to 4. TEDx URI has been launched in the spirit of sharing ideas worth spreading for a TED-like experience on campus. The goal of this program is to help communities, organizations, and individuals engage in conversation and connections through a TED-like experience. TED Talks are notoriously known for innovative speakers who explore deeper thoughts through powerful talks. These talks highlight topics such as global issues, such as science, business, and more. The TEDx URI program is allowing the community to engage in talks under the theme, A View for the Future. Caitlin Sloan, a student representative and stage manager for TEDxURI, is one of the few people who chooses the speakers. She says there is no specific model for the perfect candidate. The organizers are seeking storytellers who can deliver compelling messages showing passion for their topic. It would be a great way to showcase our community and you know all the great ideas we have here. We always say think big, so I think this is a great way to showcase those big thinkers. This is the first TEDx event for the University of Rhode Island, and TEDx URI is holding the event on February 10th. Auditions will be held Tuesday, November 14th, 5.30 to 7.30 p.m., and Wednesday, November 15th, 4.30 to 6.30 at the URI Fine Arts Center G Studio. On October 28th, the URI men's basketball team hosted Buffalo at the Ryan Center for a charity exhibition game that raised money for the Red Cross's hurricane disaster relief. Five Cent Cigars' Stone Friedman has more. The URI men's basketball team hosting the University of Buffalo in a charity exhibition game at the Ryan Center on Saturday. All proceeds from the game were donated to the American Red Cross to help their disaster relief efforts. Ram star E.C. Matthews did not play. However, a special moment before the game, he got to meet back up with high school head coach Nate Oates, who is now the head coach at the University of Buffalo. The young guys for Rhode Island look strong in the first half. It's sophomore Surreal Langevin who gets a lead pass from Stan Robinson and on the breakaway slams it home. That's two of the big fellas, 17 points on the afternoon. The Rams would carry a 30-28 to 28 point lead into the second half and Rhodey fans were anxious to see what they would get from freshman Fats Russell. Well, all 5'10 of him would elevate and release the ball high above the defender off the glass and in. The rookie had nine points in his unofficial debut game. 
This game would go into overtime, but the Rams would get the victory 80-72. to Rams head coach Dan Hurley was excited to be back on the court, but after the game, the purpose of the exhibition contest was at front and center. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's been a, I've said this a couple times, uh, has been a great last month for five weeks for college basketball as an industry. So uh, anything that we can do, uh, you know, to either help out our community or, or, or help people, um, you know, groups of people that are struggling, suffering, any small part that we can play, uh, you know, um, it's important. Uh, it's an important thing. Hopefully we raise some money today. The offseason now continues for the Rams for the next week and a half before they begin their official 2017-18 season on November 10th at home against the University of North Carolina, Asheville. I'm Stone Freeman, the Good Five Cent Cigar News. Certainly a great cause to play for. Do you ever have trouble studying or maybe you need some tips to improve your study habits? Five Cent Cigar Sierra Bishop shares some tricks students should use for the rest of this semester. Ever get frustrated after putting hours of studying in and still not understanding the information? Sky Mendez, assistant director at the Academic Enhancement Center, has some tips and tricks for students to improve their studying. Um, but really what we want students to shift towards in terms of study habits is doing things that are more recalling information. So things like, you know, quizzing yourself or quizzing with friends. Um, thinking about how might my professor ask this type of info on an exam. With the end of the semester approaching and finals right around the corner, the Academic Enhancement Center has walk-ins from Monday to Thursday every day from 2 to 7 p.m. Junior Haley Clark shares how much she enjoys going to the Academic Enhancement Center. So it's like nice because you can just sit there and do your homework and then like when you get stuck you just do your little red card and they're like, okay, we'll come help. Like your teacher might explain it one way but they they can explain it like in a better way that you understand it. And it's nice because there's like other people there that are in the same class so like they might be going over a problem that like they're doing and then you're like, oh, I'm going to need help on that, too. Sky says students should shy away from the standard studying methods of rewriting notes and flipping through note cards. Things like taking your homework as if it were a test, um, because the more that you can kind of practice the performance um, and do things similarly to how you're going to be asked on the exam um, for a midterm or a final, uh, the better you do. The Academic Enhancement Center is located on the fourth floor of Roosevelt Hall across from Davis Hall. This is Sierra Bishop. Five Cent Cigar News. Thanks, Ciara. I'll have to make sure to use some of those tips when I go to study for finals this year. That's all we have for you this week. For more on these stories, you can find them on our website at roadiecigar.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. I'm Nikki Latarulo. Thanks for watching and have a great week.